वेलकम स्टूडेंट एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ पोम फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश इट इज एन इंस्पिरेशनल पोम रिटर्न बाय लैंगस्टन ह्यूज अ पोम नेम इज इन टाइम ऑफ सिल्वर रेन चिल्ड्रन ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ बटरफ्लाई एंड अर्थ who are always moving which means whatever difficulties or barriers comes in we should face it and move forward so let's see what a poet poet want to say through this inspirational poem but before that i will like to give you a brief introduction of our poet children on your screen you can see the picture of our poet his full name was james mercer langston hughes he was an american writer poet and an activist activist means a person who believed strongly in politics he was born on 1st february 1901 in us and died on 22nd may 1967 in us he won many awards and honors for his work he used to write poetry in a new style which has rhythm and expressions which were important in his poetry his poetry depict means describe the life of the working class of black in america whose life were full of struggle langston had an important technical influence on folk and jazz hughes first stories short stories was published in 1934 the way of white folk he wrote many novels short stories plays poetry operas essays and work for children he also often helped new writers by offering his advice langston hughes wrote this poem in the time of silver rain for his friend lauren hans berry who had diagnosis with cancer so through this poem that is in the time of silver rain he wants to inspire his friend he says when spring arrive life is renewed means they give rebirth to all the living things it also suggests that our poet is helping his friend to lift his spirit to enjoy life for as long as she can so let's see our full poem so children now let's see a full poem lesson number 1.3 in time of silver rain in time of silver rain the earth puts forth new life again green grasses grow and flowers lift their heads and over all the plain the water spreads of life of life of life in the time of silver rain the butterflies lift silken wings to catch a rainbow cry and trees put forth new leaves to sing in joy beneath the sky as down the roadway passing boys and girls go singing to in time of silver rain when spring and life are new written by langston huge so let's read 
आपको रिसाइड आपोम वन मोर टाइम सो चिल्ड्रन प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली इन द टाइम ऑफ सिल्वर रेन द अर्थ पुट्स फोर्थ न्यू लाइफ अगेन ग्रास ग्रीन ग्रास ग्रो एंड फ्लावर्स लिव द हेड्स एंड ओवर ऑल द प्लेन द वंडर स्प्रेड्स ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ लाइफ इन टाइम ऑफ सिल्वर रेन द बटरफ्लाईज लिव सिल्कन विंग्स टू कॅच अ रेनबो क्राय एंड ट्रीज पुट फोर्थ न्यू लिव्स टू सिंग इन जॉय बिनी द स्काय एज डाऊन द रोड्स वेज पासिंग बॉयज इन गर्ल्स गो सिंगिंग टू इन द टाइम ऑफ सिल्वर रेन वेन स्प्रिंग एंड लाईफ आर न्यू सो लेट सी what a poet wants to say through this poem now student we have read the poem so what you understood after reading the poem yes yes we learn that spring has given a new life on the earth also how new grass flowers birds and beauty are all around you said that earth puts forth forth means forward new life again and that all the new growth that is the tree grass birds sh- seem to shout of life of life of life even people are impacted by nature's rebirth passing boys and girls go singing too and everyone is happier and filled with joy and hope the poem so this was the thinking of our poem of our poet now let's see the meaning of its line by stanza wise so children this is our first stanza of our poem in the time of silver rain in the time of silver rain the earth puts forth new life again new words we learn from this stanza are forth forward silver rain crystal water let me ask you few questions related to this three line children how many season do we have in india yes yes monsoon summer and winter season but children do you know in european countries they have spring and autumn season too so let's start the poem so in this first three stanza which season is mentioned you can see in the picture yes right rainy season second question which natural things or element is described in this stanza natural means nature related to nature yes yes it is earth rain green grass leaves right then mud so these all are the natural elements okay so so from this three line the poet says that when the rainy season comes it brings new life to the earth that is everything start growing like grass plants etc the rain is called silver because the rain drop droplet shines on each things and and it shines and look silver in color so that's why the poet has given the name of this poem in the time of silver rain now children 
This is our second stanza of our poem. Green grasses grow and flowers lift their heads and over all the plain the wonder spreads of life of life of life new words we learn in this stanza are lift raised to a higher position or level wonder something that causes astonishment and admiration so children again i would like to ask you a questions related to this stanza which element are mentioned in this stanza you can see yes in this on your screen you can see flower right forest in forest you can see leaves right rising of the sun clouds etc so all these are our natural elements so let's see what the poet want to say through this lines huge is explain the sense of wonder that we feel at the sight of grasses and flowers in the spring time the dried grass and pale flowers get their shiny color back the different colors of nature written and light up the land leaving us in wonder of the beauty of life the entire stanza consists of just two words which are repeated thrice of life of life of life according to poet he says to feel a sense of wonder which is coming again to our life let's see what is there in third stanza children this is our third stanza of our poem in time of silver rain the butterflies lift silken wings to catch a rainbow and trees put forth new leaves to sing in in joy beneath the sky new words we learn from this stanza are silken having a smooth soft and light treasure beneath extending or directly underneath so children with the help of a questionnaires let's see what poet want to say in this stanza which insects is mentioned in this stanza yes butterfly what comes in the sky during rainy season yes children it is rainbow children from third stanza langston goes and elaborate on what other sight we might across when it rains during the spring spring season so children you can see on the screen on the screen how butterflies are fluttering in the hope of seeing a rainbow how new leaves growing on trees because they too feels the arrival of spring the poet tells how the butterflies spread their wings and begin to fly it looks as if they have caught the bright color of the rainbow on their delicate and soft wing because we all know rainbow have seven color children here you can also notice the poet imagination that the rainbow rainbow cries as they have only seven color but the butterflies have multi color so we can, so we can see that the that the rainbow cry is of happiness now 
वी कैन ऑल्सो सी न्यू लीव्स ग्रोइंग ऑन ट्रीज बिकॉज दे ऑल फेल डाउन इन ऑचम एंड ग्रू बैक विथ स्प्लैश ऑफ रेन ड्रॉप्स इट सीम्स एज दो दे आर सिंगिंग सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज देयर इन आ फोर्थ स्टेंसा children this is our fourth stanza of our poem as down the road we passing boys and girls go singing to in time of silver rain when spring and life are new new words we learn in this stanza is spring the season after winter and summer so children In the fourth and last stanza, our poet provides conclusion to all the description. He says that we can see rain has its impact not only on flora and fauna, means plant and animals, but also on people. You can see on your screen that how the mother is taking their children. The poet says that when you walk down the road young boys and girls also passes you by happily singing and enjoying the rain the poet ends the poem by talking about the season of spring after it rain the arrival of spring is a sign of rebirth and the beginning of a fresh life life has we know it also start once again because of rain and spring the poet want to give the message through this poem is that he says that life goes on like the coming of spring each year means he wants to give the message that in autumn season all the leaves are shed down but as the spring season came come again it start growing with a new hope so we should always have a new hope in our life and whatever the difficulties barriers are there just leave it and start with a new hope and a new life again so for that reason he wants to explain her his friend who was diagnosed by cancer that leave it whatever you have but think for a future and enjoy your life whatever you have So let's see our poetic device. Children, these are our poetic device. Children, why poetic device are used in poetry? Okay, let me explain you. Poetic devices are a form of literary device used in poetry. Poet uses them to create rhythm. and enhance a poem's meaning intensify a mood or feeling so let's see rhyming scheme of this poem in this poem we didn't have a definite rhyming scheme so let's proceed to our rhyming words children these are a rhyming words from the poem rain again heads spreads wing spring sing spring cry sky now let's see our figure of speech another poetic device we learn in this poem is figure of speech alliteration what do you mean by alliteration so let's see when two or more words begins with the same sound in one line it is called an alliteration 
एग्जाम्पल नयन नीड्स न्यू नोटबुक्स सो इन दिस फर्स्ट लाइन यू कैन सी दैट एन एन इज रिपीटेड कम एंड क्लीन योर क्लोज अगेन द सी सी इज रिपीटेड प्लीज पुट योर पेन अवे एंड प्ले द पियानो अगेन इन दिस थर्ड लाइन यू कैन सी पी इज रिपीटेड lazy lizard lying like lamb so again l l is repeated the big bad bear attack again b b is repeated so the color words you can see all are repeated in each each line so whatever the words which is repeated more than one time so we call it as a alliteration children let's see alliteration example from our poem green grasses grow in this sentence alphabet g is repeated so it is alliteration now second figure of speech is personification now what is personification so it is a figure of speech where non living object are described to seem like people example the car dances across the icy road here the car is given the human quality that it is dancing on a icy road second the angry clouds march across the sky here the cloud is given the human quality that they are angry so for that reason they want to fight with the sky so for that reason they are marching towards the sky now let's see the personification from a poem these are the example of personification from our poem and flowers lift their head here you can see the flower is lifting their head means how the humans are lifting their head so in same way here it shows that flower has lift their head and trees put forth new leaves to sing here again you can see the trees is moving forward and leaves are singing which all are the human quality so here all the non living objects is given a human quality so we can say that it is personification now let's do our evaluation answer the following question in one word or a sentence what does the earth do in the time of silver rain means when the rain is falling down what the earth is doing you can say that okay second what happens to the grass and the flowers when it rains so again the grass and flower it is natural element so when it when the rain when the rain pours on it what happens you everyone know that during the rainy season the grass the flowers they grew very very big so you have to write the answer related to that why do the butterflies lift their silken wings so why why the butterflies is lifting the silken wings why so it's because of the rainbow because during the rainy season you can see the rainbow and rainbow have different different colors and so for that reason butterflies also want different colors on their wings so for that reason they are lifting their wings fourth one are the boys and girls happy that it is raining now you tell me when it rains are you happy yes so in same way 
the boys and girls they are also very happy during the rainy season now let's see another slide answer the following is the poet talking about the heavy rains in the rainy season or rain that has come after a long time means here from your point of view you are supposed to say whether the poet is talking about a heavy rain or a rainy season that comes after a long time means we have i have told you that in the introduction that we have uh, means we have uh, many we have three season right but in european countries they have autumn seasons also spring seasons also okay so you have to discuss related to that why does the poet says that life is new when it rains so according to the poet why he says that when rains comes why it is new so you know all children that during the summer season all the leaves are shed down right but as the rain start pouring right as the rainy season start all the leaves which are shed down which sheds all the leaves all the trees where no leaves are there but because of the rain all the tree get new life they start bearing the leaves so for that reason it says that when it rains the rain gives a new life to the thing so for that reason the poet says that it is rebirth let's see the grammar part given the adjective used to describe rain in the exact means how the rain is described you know that adjective is a describing words so how the rain is described in each stanza you supposed to write the answer second give the adjectives used to describe the wings of a butterfly right so she here you can see that how the butterflies is want to give the color with the help of the rainbow so what adjective is used to their wings how their wings are there now personal response do you like the rainy season give reason so here the poet is asking that do you like the rainy season so all are loving rainy season right na so you have to write your own reason that why you like the rainy season if no then why don't you like the rainy season because some people don't like rainy season because they don't like to wet in the rainy season everywhere the water is there mud is there so they don't like it but some people they love the rainy season so you have to write according to your point of view hope you understood the lesson right so thank you